included in one hand is such a commercial sensationalism, sensationalism lately, in, in one hand with all kinds of groups have been kind of taken to Peru or here a lot, I know so many people who go to their monthly ayahuasca session almost like going to church, take out my sins so I don't have to do the work. So it's one of those super wise medicines that almost has such deep access to your soul that can be still used like a spiritual mouthwash in some ways, with the wrong, with the wrong attitude. Or also seeing what happens in some ways in Peru when I've heard some of the horror stories of shamans who are so looking at the money and don't have respect for the Westerners and going deep into the jungle to drink with the shaman and the shaman giving you the ayahuasca and just it's kicking and going, okay, now you have to go. Thanks for the money. And people stumbling in the jungle. <laughs> so there is always like everything that is used and abuse. And on the other hand, though, it's such a wise medicine. I have drunk with shamans with huge egos that were obviously coming from the wrong place. But it was still me and ayahuasca against the shaman in some ways. Because it has such an innate wisdom and has such a beautiful soul space. The, yeah. And on the other hand, there's of course shamans who have not seen so many women with so little clothing. So I have had to work with people who have been so damaged by Guermo. <laughs> and by having sexual relationships with shamans who are amazing in the space, but sexuality is a different aspect of it. So that's been, I know, I've heard a lot of stories there being crossed. 